In this video, I want to talk about the concept of lane of least resistance. So looking further down the road to identify things that will cause you not to be able to drive smoothly for an extended period of time. Sometimes these things uh, involve buses being in this lane. Sometimes if you're in the left lane, if there's no dedicated left turn lane and there's cars up ahead that are constantly stopping to make a left turn, uh, then in that case, this lane would be the lane of least resistance. But if we can see from back here that there is a double-decker bus in this lane, so we should be thinking, if we stay in this lane, we either have to do a lane change closer to the bus, or we'll have to just stop at every bus stop with the bus. So in this case, it makes sense to switch early on into the left lane and proceed in this lane until we pass the bus and can safely move back into the other lane. Um, so... Students often ask me, well, on the road test, should I change lanes? And I tell them it depends. So let's say you are back here and there's a bus in front of you and examiner has told you next intersection, turn right. Well, it probably doesn't make sense to try to come into this lane, overtake the bus quickly, get back into this lane. You might run out of time. You might uh, be over cutting off the bus as you do that switch back over before your intersection. So in this situation or in that situation, it wouldn't make sense to do that maneuver. However, if they tell you third intersection, we're turning right, and you can see up ahead there's a bus. Well, in this case, if it's safe to do so, switch over to the left lane and pass the bus so you're not dealing with the stop and go traffic here with the bus. And when it's safe to do so, you switch back into this lane. Uh, and so now we can pass the bus. And we don't suddenly swerve in front of the bus. We go a bit further. We signal rear view mirror check, side mirror check, and shoulder check prior to switching safely back into this lane. And again, looking further down the road helps you identify those uh, obstructions or slowdowns in advance so you can identify which one of these lanes is the more efficient lane if you will um, so again sometimes it's this lane if there's lots of people waiting to turn left and sometimes it's this lane if there is um, let's say a moving truck parked in this lane or a bus that's stopping at every bus stop what have you